Hi guys, today we're going to look at a new face wash that I came across. I ran out of my normal acne fighting face wash, so I ran up to Target to see what they had. Um, I was looking for the CeraVe Creamy Cleanser, I think it was, but they were out of it. And this was on sale, so I thought I would grab it, give it a try, see what was going on. This has 2% of the salicylic acid, um, so it's pretty similar to what I had been using as far as the salicylic acid content. And it is the Olay Total Effect 7-in-1 Blemish Control Salicylic Acid Acne Cleanser. It is 5 ounce and it was only $5.39. I think it was closer to like 7 or 8 bucks or something like that. So I thought I would give it a try since it was um, on sale and it was a little bit less than the CeraVe cleanser anyways. So I, th I thought, well, I'll save a couple bucks and I'll give it a try since they're out of the, the CeraVe. And I got it home and I've been trying it for about two weeks now. And it's okay. It's not my favorite that I've ever come across, but my skin is also changing. It's going from dry to more oily as the summer gets here. So I'm kind of in that awkward stage where I have some dry patches and I have some oily patches. So I don't know. It works okay. It's not my favorite. I still feel like I get a lot of... Um, oil production, especially in my T-zone across the top of my nose, forehead, that area. So I was kind of disappointed in that because my normal cleanser that I use doesn't um, leave me with that problem. But I don't know if my skin's just getting used to it or if it's just not as effective, but I'm going to continue and use the product up just because I bought it. I want to try it. I want to finish it. Um, as far as consistency, it is just a white cream cleanser. It does have these kind of little microbeads in there. You can't see it in the actual product, but as you rub it across your skin, you are getting a micro exfoliation. Not as much as um, you would with a microderm product, but there is still some microderm effect going on so I kind of like that because I don't have to use my microderm abrasion set as much um, so that's definitely a plus I really like that I do feel like it has targeted the um, breakouts more I'm I'm not seeing as many breakouts in the last two weeks and I have been using a lot more foundation and um, more high coverage looks than I would normally just because I've been trying out some other products and it has been a lot warmer the last couple days so I have been um, you know I do have more oil on my face in general just because it's been more humid and it's a lot warmer outside we're seeing temps more in the 90s almost 100 around here so I don't know I'm gonna give it a go I'm still kind of out on my opinion, I'm not as impressed as I was wanted to be because it is an Olay Total Effects product and I've seen a lot of hype in beauty magazines, there's a lot of hype online, there's a lot of YouTubers that love all of their products, so I really, really wanted to just be blown away by this product and I wasn't, but it's not totally bad either. You know, it's like, it does some good, but I'm not seeing everything that I want to out of a cleanser, so I'm not 100% sure. Yet. I don't know. I'm going to have my husband try it and see what he thinks about it and um, maybe we'll do an update later and see how he likes it because he has a lot of the same skin issues that I do. He gets really oily in the summertime so oil control is really important to him. So we will see. I'm still out about that. I don't know. It's not bad. Not horrible. If you see it, if you normally have oily skin and you need another one, you might want to try it. Um, it's not horrible, but I don't know. It was worth five bucks, I guess, but yeah, that's my review. Still kind of wishy-washy on it. I don't have a firm opinion on it, but it's not terrible. So yeah, that was it. <laughs> Super exciting, huh? But I'll see you guys in the next video. If you want to um, and you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button down below. Give me a big thumbs up. Let the world know I'm here. Leave me a comment if you want to. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram, both at RockMama4. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.